You're very welcome back. Paul Ryder has got the best job this morning as he's about to chat to the winner of this year's Love Island, the one and only Eck and Sue. Paul. Yes, good morning, Elaine. Good morning, team. We are live here at Blanchetown Shopping Centre for the Be Perfect Cosmetics launch with the one and only, the queen of life, the queen of summer, the queen of everything, Eck and Sue. Hiya, how are you? Good morning, how are you? Come here to me. How has life been since coming out of the villa? Uh, very hectic, very busy, but... So much love and so much love to everyone. You haven't had much downtime since you kind of left, have you not? We were just having that chat. None. Only now, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Only now. Is it like sleeping in taxis from gig to gig? It's sleeping in planes, taxis, walking. I'm always sleeping as well. Wherever I've got 10 minutes, I'm trying to sleep. But... Get a nap in. How has it been since coming out of the villa? Because I think you came out to like over two and a half million followers. Right now in the Blanchestown Shopping Centre, we have uh, the Gardaí, which are our police, making sure that everything's going well. Okay. How is that for you to, like, to comprehend? Overwhelming, that's beautiful. The fact that the police are here, hi. <laughs> you can arrest me now if you want, but yeah, no, it's good that they're here. You've been in LA, you've, you've, you've been doing so much. Have you had a chance to see your love? No, but he just said to me he's booked his train for tomorrow, so he's coming down. Finally! You'll finally get a Davide Carbonari, yes? I want linguine now. Mix it up. <laughs> <laughs> and um, is, it, is it tough being part of a couple coming out of such a big, massive bubble and then like being thrust into work like this and not getting to see each other? Because it's so intense in there. It's so tough because I feel like so many eyes are on us and a relationship is always private, you know, and people have opinions and opinions aren't facts. So I uh, just wanted to lay that out. And, um, you know, we're all good. Busy. Can't wait to see him. Yeah. And there was, uh, we have to talk about it, the photo of you, obviously, where you uh, entered Miss Ireland. Now, here in Ireland, we love to just take anybody and say, ah, yeah, they're Irish, they're our <laughs> friend. Can we claim you as Irish now? I wish I had blue eyes, but yes, you can claim me as Irish. I know the Irish ladies are beautiful, so, you know. And we can if we want. Now, there was, you've had so many iconic moments from the villa. Um, do you get sick of hearing the phrases and the bits and the bobs, or are you kind of like, look, it's part of your journey, it's what made you? I think I'm sick and tired of hearing you're a liar and actress, because I'm definitely not a liar. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm sick of that line. Apart from that, I love it. <laughs> do you still uh, chat to some of your Love Island contestant friends? Um, I barely chat to my mum and dad, so bear in mind, I can't even chat to them. But if I'm free, I'd love to. Hope everyone is well, sending love to all the contestants. And what is, what's coming up? What's next? I know you've got the TV show. We were chatting just before we went on air. Have you started to film? Where's on location? What's the crack? What's happening? Um, so I can't give you too much detail, but filming, well, after, so the, around the 19th of September, we're flying to Italy first and then filming in Sicily and then a week later in Turkey. So it's going to be families. So he's going to meet my grandma. I'm going to meet his dad. And it's so scary. But um, and they have you to, to find out. <laughs> and they haven't met yet at all? No. <laughs> Are you nervous? Because like, I, I know how I would feel. You can even tell it. You're like, yeah, it's, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Got to make sure the dad likes me. Oh, is the dad the big, the dad's yeah. the big one? The dad's, I mean, we all have dads, right? You've got to make sure that the boyfriend's dad approves. I know the mum does, but... Any plans for you and Davide to, you know, maybe share a, share a love nest somewhere, maybe? Do you know what we were talking about for months, but I feel like now, like, we're so busy that I feel like we need to get our career and work done, and when we've got time, decide to when, wherever, Manchester, maybe move to Dublin. Um, <laughs> we would love that. Please, please come and live with us here in Dublin. I would love to, honestly. Now, we're here for the launch of Be Perfect Cosmetics in Blanchestown. Um, what made you want to work with Be Perfect? I think it's a great brand. I think it's good quality. I think what they use, like the ingredients, is very good for the skin. I've been using it on the show all the time before I even knew about Be Perfect. I was using the Body Glow constantly on my legs. The girls were sharing the products with me. And I'm just honoured, you know. I know because you can see, like when we're watching it live, you can kind of see, you know, different products. And I'd say all the gals and some of the guys as well are kind of looking going, oh, look, that's, that's. So it was kind of nice to see an Irish brand like Be Perfect be a part of it. Is that something important to you? Very important. And, you know, this is a funny thing because the girls were actually using the shimmer on their ass cheeks. And there was this one brush that we all shared. And I was like, you better be washing that brush. But yeah, it was literally just here. And the bums were glowing. But yeah, it's Be Perfect. Body glow. Now we know you've got we know you've got the TV show and you've got you know different collaborations coming up. But what are the big aspirations? What would what would be the big Ek and Sue dream? A horror movie. <laughs> Have you not just had enough of it in the Love Island villa? I'm joking. No, I'd love to do a thriller, um, something really different, something people are surprised with. And um, obviously acting is my passion, so something crazy like that. 
And we know that, you know, reality is a huge, a huge, big, uh, is a huge, big thing. If there's another reality show you could do, what would it be? I don't know. Um, I definitely would go back. I'm not going to do an Adam thing where I go back, but I would do Love Island all over again. I don't regret any mistakes I made in there. I think everyone, you know, if you've got the chance to, if you're thinking to go for it, follow your dreams. It's a great show. I'm a celeb, big brother, no? I don't know, no comment. Oh, no! I'm a celeb, get me out of here, because I'm not scared of bugs and stuff like that. I don't mind eating someone's camel's thing. Uh, let's cut that out, but yeah. <laughs> We're live, we can't. Listen, <laughs> Ek and Zoo, thank you so much for joining us here on Ireland AM. It's been an absolute pleasure, and enjoy the best of your time in Dublin. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you all for coming as well. Back to you in studio. Hey, I learn something new every day. I can see wouldn't mind eating a camel's thing.